Hi there, let's take a look at AnyType's movie database experience. Now I have AnyType open on the left and in the bottom right corner. If you select the help icon, there's a link to the Any Experience Gallery, which is just templates that you can use to get a head start with using AnyType. Here's the movie database, and I'm going to select open an app and install. I'm choosing new space. And while that's downloading, I'm going to minimize my browser here, and I'm going to maximize my AnyType app screen. Now in the lower right corner, you'll see go to space. And here is the movie database. It still has a blank home page, so I'm going to get rid of that and move it to the bin, which is also the trash can. And here is the set. In the top right corner, I'm going to select add to favorites just so it shows up here in my sidebar for easy access. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Um, this is a database of object type movie. And we have one example here, 2001, A Space Odyssey. So let's see what else we got in here. And let me put it in full screen. Okay, so we have the movie poster and we've got a short summary in the about section. And then under that, we've got some relation. So we've got um, on the top right corner of the triangle, you can also see which relations are part of this object. So we've got a genre, a status, and then down here we've got director. Um, some of these I don't think were used on the page. Um, so we, yeah, I don't see like that star rating and trailer on here. Um, and then this image if i open as an object it says it's an image uh, a png but when i go to sets okay this one that's called all objects is everything that's in any type there is a tab here called media and for whatever reason i don't see that movie poster in here um, this media is supposed to have all uh, images and files, but it's I don't see it anywhere. So if you guys know where that movie poster came from, can you let me know in the comments? And then uh, let's, okay, so getting back to here, these are the different templates. It looks like there's two of the same, so I'm gonna rename this one to movie template one. Um, and then let's go back to the main page here. Sorry. Uh, okay. Let me go back to the templates. Okay, so here there's a second movie template, but it looks the same. So I'm just going to put this one in the bin. Okay, and then I, let me get rid of these two that I made uh, there was nothing in there okay so now i want to select movie template one as my default so that whenever i press the plus button it will have that page template applied to it already so it will look like this okay i'm going to make a grid view i personally like entering a lot of data in the grid view versus opening an object and writing on it. So I'm just going to speed through this part where I'm adding all the relations to this grid view so I can just see them all here. And I'll show you the object. If you want to fill it out on a page using the page template, then you would fill it out like this with the title. The director there's only one person in here right now, Stanley Kubrick. So if you want to enter a new director, you can just start typing the name of the new director, but then press underneath where it says create object. And that will make it have its own page. And here, I'm not really sure there's two of everything under status. So maybe there was like a duplicate status relation made. 
but I'll just click done here and see what happens. Uh, looks like it shows there and let's see. Let's make one more object. So let me type in, um, there's a movie that just came out, Godzilla minus one. For director, if you put the name and they don't already exist in any type, just select underneath where it says plus create object and it will uh, create it under the director object type. Okay, I've selected a status of to do because I haven't seen that one yet and I'm going to select the Kanban view this time and you want to change the group to status and this will give you the classic Kanban board that has to do in progress and done. Okay, I don't know why that one didn't show up. So I think I guess it's because like before I said there was like two of each status. So I probably need to go back and delete one of them because there's two, but it shows now. And if you have that same problem, yeah, you probably have to go delete a duplicate relation.